Hi folks, from a climate point of view, the coast of central Chile would seem like the ideal place to grow Pinot Noir. Methinks it's time to sample those Pacific breezes. Coming right up. Hi guys, welcome to yet another edition of Big On Wine, the show which, as you know by now, brings you news and clues and reviews about everything in the world of wine. And yes, we're on course today for a visit to the new world. My wine of the week is this one here. It's Leda Las Brisas Pinot Noir and the vintage is 2016. And this wine comes in for a price where I am of uh, just under 16 euro a bottle. Okay, now this wine comes highly recommended. This is from Chile and from the San Antonio region of Chile. In fact, to be precise, from the Leda Valley. So this is D.O. Valle de Leda and it's 100% Pinot Noir, 13.5% alcohol, fairly standard in that respect. Okay, let me tell you a little bit about this uh, wine. Uh, single variety Pinot Noir. Now this comes from a vineyard, which is a relatively new addition uh, to the uh, vineyards in Chile. This is uh, roughly 20 years old and the Leda Valley is situated about 70 kilometers west of Santiago on the western side of the coastal mountains. So this is in an area close to the Pacific Ocean where the ocean of course has a cooling effect. Now this is a region where not only the Pinot Noir does very well but also the white varieties Sauvignon Blanc, Chardonnay and the red variety Syrah. Okay so we're talking here about a Chilean Pinot Noir. This is the Chilean take on the great grape of Burgundy, the Pinot. Okay, let's take a look at our uh, wine in the glass. And as we can see, it has those typical characteristics of a Pinot. Now, Pinot Noir normally produces a fairly light colored wine with a kind of a cherry crimson um, hue to it and also um, a wine which is very, very translucent. So I think that scores full marks uh, on all respects there. In fact, I would say this is perhaps even a little bit darker than the normal, a little bit of brown in there as well. So we have those cherry and crimson colours, but also slightly darker in colour than perhaps uh, French uh, Pinot would be. OK, let's see what we get in the nose with this wine. And that has indeed that wonderful toasty, toasty aroma which we associate with quality Pinot. Now the immediate um, aromas that are reaching my nostrils are those of cherry predominantly. So cherry aromas, toasty cherry aroma. But I would say that um, there is also something else in the mix there probably closer to raspberry. I'm not uh, picking up any strawberry in this, but certainly a very, very strong aroma of cherry, um, sour cherry, and also a touch of raspberry in the nose. Very, very appealing indeed. Um, a great uh, kind of bursting with aroma type of wine, this. So it promises a lot at this stage. Fantastic. Okay, let's try this in the mouth and see and see what we get. And that is fantastic. I would say probably the finest Pinot Noir which I've tasted in the course of 2018. Let's see if we can put some adjectives to that statement. First of all, in the mouth, this is medium bodied. And it has a fullness and a roundedness, but also good acids in it as well, um, 
that the impression is one of a huge variety of red berries, particularly the raspberries and the cherries, but also I think now in the finish of the wine, we're getting those strawberry notes coming in, which is a wonderful addition. This is an intense wine, um, packed with flavour, wonderfully supple, very, very pleasing in the mouth. This is a wine that makes you smile, that has the feel-good factor. So we're looking here at a young Pinot Noir. Um, it's only a couple of years old. Um, lively in the mouth, beautifully balanced, um, wonderful stuff. Uh, nice acids. It's mouth-wateringly good. It's crying out, you know, let's take this a stage further. Let's match it to food. It has a wonderful, long, clean, stylish, elegant finish to it. with those cherries and raspberries, toastiness, and just at the end, that little bit of strawberry as well. Okay, we're talking here a wine which is quality Pinot Noir from the New World, from the Leda Valley, close to the Pacific coast of uh, San Antonio in Chile. This is a wine which is ready to drink as it is. You could keep this undoubtedly. It's sufficiently good in quality. You could keep this for what, three to five years probably. This is a fantastic all-rounder. And you know, this would make a fantastic Christmas present. I could even buy a bottle for myself, couldn't I? Yes. Um, difficult to recommend a red wine, of course, that'll cope with all kinds of Christmas food, but this will make a pretty good fist of almost everything. I would say drinkable, very, very drinkable as an aperitif. It'll handle those game birds, pheasant, duck, undoubtedly excellent with pork, particularly maybe not with ham so much, but with pork casseroles. Um, this would be an ideal accompaniment. Okay, now remember the serving temperature should be just slightly cool, slightly shy of room temperature for this Pinot Noir. So around the 15 or 16 degree mark. Let's bring you the heads up on this one. Quality stuff, quality Pinot Noir from an up and coming area of Chile, the Leda Valley at a very attractive price, just under 16 euro a bottle where I am. Leda Las Brisas, Pinot Noir 2016, five stars out of five. Okay guys, many, many thanks for taking the time to check out this week's video and the little intro to a beautifully balanced and harmonious young Pinot Noir from the uh, coast of central Chile, Leda Las Brisas and the vintage 2016. Wonderful stuff. If you've enjoyed what you've seen and heard today, then please do feel free to give us that big thumbs up, which we appreciate so much. Um, drop a comment down below, why don't you? We're always extremely grateful to receive your comments. Share the video around, follow me on my other social media platforms, and if you haven't done so already, then please do subscribe by hitting that big red button somewhere up there behind me. I'll be back again next week with another great Wine of the Week for you, but until we meet again, this is Tony Melville signing off and saying, hey, Take care out there. Be good to each other. Enjoy your wines and cheers.